Good afternoon, and welcome to the 30th annual meeting of the Opportunity Finance Network. My name is Dan Latendra, and I manage the CDFI activities at Bank of America. For seven years, Bank of America has been the lead sponsor for the Opportunity Finance Network Conference. As many of you know, Bank of America is an active investor in the CDFI industry. We are proud to work with more than 240 CDFIs serving all 50 states. By year end, our portfolio of loans, investments, deposits, and capital grants will exceed $1.3 billion. For us, For us, the annual OFN conference is an important event, a time to reflect on past investing work with our CDFI partners and an opportunity to chart a new course for investing in CDFIs in the coming year. It is with that in mind that I would like to spend just a few minutes discussing our perspective and plans for the coming year, highlighting the impact of subsidy, sustainability, and scale on our activities. I have to say that the video retrospective on the CDFI fund is a great way to kick things off. Not just because the CDFI fund has provided more support and more shaping of the CDFI industry, $2 billion since its inception, but because of the form of that support. From the beginning, the CDFI fund supported CDFIs with financial support at the institution level rather than the transaction level. As most of us in community development know, most of the subsidies available, whether it's low-income housing tax credit, Section 8, loan guarantees and the like, provide subsidies at the transaction level. And while that subsidy is certainly important, subsidy at the transaction level is often stuck at the transaction level for the life of the transaction, even past the time when it may be needed there. Subsidy at the transaction level cannot be pooled and shared across multiple activities or diverted to where it is needed most. CDFI fund from the beginning supported CDFIs as institutions, and I believe that's a very big reason why today CDFIs are thriving financially whereas CDCs and nonprofit affordable housing developers often are not. As many CDFI directors remind me continually, Dan, if you want to create good quality affordable housing project, support the transaction. If you want to support good quality affordable housing system, support the institutions that make it possible. The CDFI fund proved that lesson to us all, a lesson I hope we never forget. For whether we are subsidy providers or capital providers, it is targeting our support of CDFIs to the institution level that is what has enabled the CDFI industry to become the sustainable business model it is today. And make no mistake, CDFI institutions today are sustainable. By the most common profitability measure used in financial institutions, basic net income over total assets or return on assets, the 10 largest CDFIs in America are more profitable than the 10 largest banks in America. Most of the top 30 CDFIs are more profitable than the 30 largest banks. And not just this year, for the past three years, the past five years, and most of the past decade. Many of the largest, most impactful CDFIs are now regularly achieving return on asset levels of over 200 basis points, a level that the banking industry generally views as unachievable on a sustainable basis. CDFIs are profitable. But it begs a question. 
what is the appropriate level of profitability in CDFIs? What is possible? What should we expect? And most importantly, how will CDFIs use the margin that they achieve to further the most important aspect, the mission of the business? I'm the first one to acknowledge that in the CDFI industry, without margin, there can be no mission. But without mission, margin doesn't matter. The CDFI industry has reached a scale that I never could have imagined when I first started lending to CDFIs. I made my first loan to a CDFI a little more than 20 years ago, a $200,000 loan to Axion in New York. I was drawn to a business model I had never seen before. Axion had one foot firmly planted in community development, economic development, and empowerment focused on the poorest communities, and the other foot firmly planted in the realities, the economic realities, of the lending business. From the first deal, I was hooked. I'm still lending to CDFIs 20 years later, but the transactions often look a little different. Earlier this year, Susan Harper, who manages the Bank of America CDFI bond program, closed our first bond transaction, a $100 million loan to the joint venture of Lisk and Enterprise, $100 million. Two months later, not to be outdone, Katya Shirley on the Bank of America team launched a new program utilizing the Community Advantage program, partnering with the Small Business Administration and seven of the best small business CDFIs in America to commit $100 million in small business finance. As we speak, Susan Winstead is working with, again, Bank of America, is working with the National Federation of Community Development Credit Unions on a new program we believe will be able to provide secondary capital to community development credit unions, starting with $10 million. Secondary capital is capital qualifying. It counts as equity and can be leveraged by the credit unions tenfold. That first $10 million in secondary capital can be leveraged to produce $100 million of quality consumer finance in low and moderate income communities. We've begun to work with new partners with our CDFIs. Earlier this year, we partnered with the Tory Burch Foundation to launch a new program branded Elizabeth Street Capital to provide affordable capital, technical assistance, and mentoring to women entrepreneurs, all delivered through CDFIs. And last but certainly not least, I am pleased to announce today that Bank of America is committing a new $10 million to the Opportunity Finance Network Catalyst Program, providing capital and advice to young and emerging CDFIs. <laughs> Programs like this, especially the Opportunity Finance Network Capitalist Program, is at the core of the business model of the CDFI team at Bank of America, where our mission has been and will be to provide more capital to more CDFIs in more places to benefit the communities that you serve. We have been proud to be your partner, and we thank you for all the amazing work that you do. Please enjoy the conference. <laughs>